We're Laura and Nicholas. Two years ago, we traded our office jobs for a life on the road. We visited over 30 countries and five continents. This year, we had some crazy plans, but COVID decided otherwise. So we're exploring some countries close to home in Europe. If you have been following our journey, you know that we're visiting the beautiful Greek islands at the moment. Last week, we were in Mykonos and Paris, and now we made it to the beautiful island of Milos. Okay guys, so we made it to Milos without vomiting. Oh my god, guys. I don't know if you could see it or hear it, but everyone oh. was vomiting on it our ferry. It was fairy. disgusting. The sea was super rough, it was really windy. And on top of that, because the ferry was delayed a lot, it already was dark outside, so you cannot look outside. That Sorry, I have to take my ice cream. That does, that does matter so much. If there were more dark. people vomiting no. when it was still light outside than when no. it was dark. So we checked into our hotel for the first two nights and then we changed our go to another hotel for another three nights because in Milos everything was just fully booked. It was crazy so we could not find a hotel that we could book five nights in a row. That's practically why we decided to like stay in two different hotels. Yeah, so it's already 11 o'clock. We decided to go for a brief walk because I needed some fresh air after all the Oh, it on, smells. Stop it. We grabbed an ice cream and uh, we're gonna walk around for five or ten minutes and then we'll go to sleep. So we'll see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It is our first day here in Milos and we slept in a little bit today, to be honest. Yeah. It's already 10 a.m. We were very, very tired. So right now we are on our way to find coffee. Because coffee first. We had such a great coffee spot in Paros where we went twice a day. <laughs> But new island, new coffee shop, it's yeah. always a bit scary because you never know you what know, kind coffee, of coffee you're gonna coffee get. Coffee is so important for us, so yeah. There's a coffee shop. Okay, let's go. So actually the first coffee shop we saw, we're gonna try it. It looks fairly decent. There are people inside, which is always a good sign, so... Let's try it out. Let's do a little taste test, rate it out of 10. I'm giving it an 8. Mine's really good. Okay, it's time to decide if we're going to rent an ATV, a car or a scooter. Let's hear out what people have to say. Okay, little update you guys. Things are not going so well. <laughs> Understatement of the year. Yeah, like honestly we're already missing Paro so much because Milos is just like not going very smooth. We know that it's a super beautiful island but things are just not smooth here. We have been looking for a few hours now to get a scooter or a quad or anything but everything is just sold out, like rented out. I think we finally found a space. But it will be for just like one day for a little scooter of 50cc so I'm not sure if we'll be able to do a lot with that. But it's the only way so we don't have much of a choice. <laughs> so you could say that it's our own fault that we did not make reservations up front. But we have been traveling now for two years straight and we have never made reservation for scooter rentals or things like this. I don't think Milos is prepared for the tourism because Milos used to be like more of a hidden gem but now it's getting so touristic and they just don't have enough scooters or quads or anything. We did not expect that during COVID at all. Okay, so the good news is we finally found a scooter. The bad news is we only have it for one day. So we'll have to return it tomorrow morning early and then the search starts all over again. We are so not looking forward to that. But in the meantime, we have arrived at a very special place. The most famous beach in Milo. So it's pretty crowded. I mean, there's a lot of people, but it's still okay. That's like a famous spot to cliff jump. So there was just like a guy who did like backflip. a backflip and yeah, crazy things. Everyone is taking photos here. It's like a one big photo shoot. <laughs> Nicholas is up there. <laughs> so we're trying to take some photos. We are officially on the moon, guys. <laughs> we have no idea what the moon actually looks like in reality, but I think this comes pretty close. Cool. I agree. Let's show you. We found this super cute spot. Okay, there's a lady there. Sorry, lady. 
You you will be in our vlog. <laughs> Look at this place. Yay! <laughs> I think that's enough shooting for today. We're gonna watch the sunset now and then we will grab a beer and a glass of wine for Laura because she deserved it. She did so well today. Aww. Look at this little workaholic. I love working. And then we will find a place to eat. We have no idea where the good spots are. I would say let us know let us know your recommendations in the comments, but by the time you see this video it will no, be long gone. So. Laura says she has some recommendations from our followers on Instagram. So thank you, Instagram followers. You guys rock. Yeah, honestly, without you guys. We'd be so lost. You guys always This place do. is so beautiful this though. Wow. Wow, sirs. Babe, babe, yes. babe, should babe. we take another photo? Are you fucking kidding me, girl? <laughs> no, but I mean, like, our pose is just, like, a little bit boring. Okay. It's not like, wow, like, whoa, like, whoa. It's just like, meh, cute, but it's not, whoa, this is an epic shot. Let's make an epic shot just unreal we cannot stop taking photos here just wow okay so we are having dinner at a local taverna tonight and it is one of the most famous spots on the island and you can quite clearly see why that is this right here is laura by the way on her phone as usual hi laura <laughs> okay so we finally got a table it's already after 10 p.m so we're really hungry and you know what's really cool is that all the menus are handwritten. How insane is that? It's a bit hard to read though, but can you imagine how many copies they made of this? Food just arrived. We took like super typical Greek things. <laughs> so we tried our best, but we really couldn't finish it all. It was so good. I'm still trying. Like especially <laughs> the chickpeas. It probably doesn't look good like on video. I can imagine it doesn't look good. But it is the best thing ever. So yeah, Laura's really tired and to be honest, so am I. Because we had a lot of last night. Nicholas just said something very dirty. Yeah. We're going to be that. Yeah. <clears throat> I've already been texting with someone, a guy that rents out cars here on the island. So our search for a motorized vehicle is still going. Yeah. Didn't he reply? He asked, what exactly are you looking for? I said something with wheels and an engine. <laughs> and I'm that. waiting for his reply now. <laughs> yes, I did. You're so stupid. He has he has read it, but he hasn't answered. Oh my, oh my God, there he is. Nikos Car Rental Milos. He says I have a car available from Monday afternoon. From Monday. We are Saturday, my friend. Oh, the search continues. Tomorrow morning, we just need to wake up super early to find a car or a quad or whatever. <laughs> Monday afternoon is is he serious? Oh my God, but imagine that tomorrow on Sunday all rental places are closed. Whoa. That can't be okay, but that's a problem for tomorrow. We're gonna enjoy the rest of our meal right now and then we will go to sleep. So see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay guys. We found a car. We're super happy. It's a small one, but it's good enough. So now we are checking out of this hotel and we're going to change to another hotel because I don't know if we said it before, but we couldn't find a place to stay that was affordable for five nights in a row. <laughs> are you okay, babe? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> so we're checking into our hotel. It's a cute little room. No idea how we're going to fit our luggage, but it's cute and we have a balcony an amazing view so we're happy here comes the luggage where do you want me to put this mess 
This is the town we're staying at. It's a little fisherman's village and it is very cute. Left or right? Right. This little village is as authentic as it gets. car here is not super fun. But well. It's a bit narrow sometimes. Left? Yeah, left. And then to the right. Fidopotamus. Oh my god. I think I'll have to do this. Uh oh. <laughs> So we just arrived at the first spot that we're visiting today. Looks absolutely beautiful. This little village is even cooler than the one we're staying. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Like imagine sleeping over there. That must be so cool. How is it here, babe? So good. I mean, look at this view. I know, it's insane. Is this your favorite beach so far? The one we went yesterday is so much more spectacular though. But, but here... This is a real beach. Yeah, true. So we took a little side road and we found this cute area. Let's see what this place is about. I don't think there's much to do here, but... Okay, so time for another spot. Okay, so every time Nicholas comes just like a little bit close to the edge, I'm just like freaking out. Just because I know how clumsy we are. So we're trying to do as many like beaches and things like that as possible. So then tomorrow we can decide which one we like the most, where we want to spend some more time. So yeah, so right here we're like at these beautiful rock formations caves. And right down here is actually a beach. So the beach is here like quite dangerous to get to. So we are not going to do that because we're pussies. We're yeah. not a big hiker. No, I am a hiker, but when it comes to when like... When it's flat. No, that's not true. I mean, when it's like not dangerous, you know? Like when there's like edges and like very steep. I don't know. I don't like it. She's not a hiker. I am a hiker. No, you're a beach girl. <laughs> that's true. No, no, but I like good hikes, but just not if they're like dangerous and you can just like fall off a cliff and stuff. Does that so make you're sense? not a hiker. Oh, stop it. You're so annoying. Okay, so in the meantime, we went back to our apartment to take a shower, get changed. Uh, Laura edited some pictures and right now we are in Mandrikia, yeah, which it's is... super beautiful. It's all fisher town as well, I think. <laughs> Everything's a fisher town Have here. Have a look. Come here. So this is the little harbor and we are going to watch the sunset here tonight and then we will also have dinner in one of the best restaurants of the island. So this is it and apparently we have a table. So this is our little dinner spot for tonight and we're going to watch the sunset over there. We are so early and the place is packed already. There is <laughs> it's not one crazy. Table. So that was the reason why we came so early because we just wanted to make sure that we got a table. Mission accomplished. And also, I mean, the views are super nice now. I will show you. And I mean, once it gets dark, you don't have that view anymore. So it's definitely a place Good where you should. Point. Good yeah. Point. <laughs> so it's definitely a place where you should come and eat for sunset. And then right there, we have like fresh octopus hanging there. So we're trying famous cheese pies. Grandmother's cheese pies. Grandmother's cheese pies. Okay, first impression of grandmother's cheese pie. It's a bit dry. It's a no for me. It's a no. On to the next dish, which is Greek version of a bruschetta. Second starter, rate it. <laughs> so good. Yeah, it was really good. Red wine, rate it. Oh, the red wine is 
Double thumbs up, double thumbs up. Probably the last dishes of the day, some grilled octopus. Mm. And some grilled veggies. Boring. Main courses rated now. Grilled vegetables. Well, I have grilled vegetables, so they're just grilled vegetables. I mean, it's it's really good, but it's overpriced. Like this? Yeah, like that. I didn't taste it, so I'm not a big vegetable guy myself. What about octopus? Grilled octopus? I would say. Oh really? Not very really. overpriced. Because they're very 15, 15 euros for a little like bit of grilled euros. octopus. I mean, we had the same in Paros for six euros yeah, and true. it was perfectly fine. So honestly, the meal was very good, but quality price, I would not come here again. So I would actually not really recommend it. I would recommend it for the view, but I would not completely recommend it. The one we had the dinner we had yesterday. It's a no yeah. for me. Good morning. Good morning, guys. It is a new day. And we slept horrible. And we honestly did not get much sleep, so we both look very tired and we do feel super tired because there was so much noise in the hotel and, and you could literally hear anything that I think the walls are, are and doing. I think the walls are made of paper. Yeah, me too. That's how bad it is. The plan normally was to wake up super early for sunrise, but that didn't work out. So yeah, we slept in a little bit and now we just arrived at a southern part of Milos. So we drove to the south part. And it's a beach day. It's a beach day. We're going to discover some of the beaches here in the south and then later this afternoon we'll go to Plaka, which is, is it the main town? I think yeah. so. It's the main town I think town it's the of capital Milos. of Milos. Capital. So that will be the plan for today. So apparently here in the south there can be a lot of strong winds. Yeah. So um, we might not vlog too much because you won't hear anything of what we have to say. Yeah. But we will of course show you with some new Okay, it's still super windy, so I don't know if you can hear me. But um, after our beach time, we just got back to our hotel room and took a little nap because, as you know, we did not sleep a lot last night and we were just so tired. So we just needed a little nap and then we took a shower and now we're visiting Plaka. So we're just going to walk around here a little bit and yeah, explore what Plaka is about and explore the small, cute little streets and then we're going to have dinner here as well. climbing all the stairs to get to the Plaka castle and the views well we're not there yet guys but this is already the view from the path let's climb up you guys come on let's train those legs okay guys we made it all the way to the top of the castle in Plaka and we're getting treated with these views okay so Nicholas is going to try to go on the church. Oh, it's too slippery. Yeah, it's really slippery. But you don't have to. I mean, if you're not going to take a photo here, then you really don't have to. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> How are you going to get up? That's the question. On oh my ass. <laughs> so, Nicholas did climb the church. But there's tons of other people on there now. <laughs> Just like during the time that I made it up here, everyone saw Nicholas on there, so decided to climb it as well. So, <laughs> oh my god. That's the thing, if you do something for the gram, in just one minute, everyone is doing the same thing. Okay guys, so we just took a photo up there. We actually placed our tripod right there, so I think we got a good shot. I think. I'll be mad if we don't. Yeah, honestly, I will too. So much effort. Yeah. And now we're going to enjoy the sunset. Oh, 
Okay, so after sunset and after oh and after climbing churches <laughs> we deserve some wine and a good dinner. So we found this little restaurant in the center of Plaka. It's number one on TripAdvisor again. I don't we, know what we have this trip, but <laughs> we go to the number one restaurants every single time. Why do we do that? I'm having beetroot risotto with goat nice. cheese. What are you having, babe? Some pasta. Some pasta. Okay, let's do it. Enjoy. So I think I know why this is the number one rated restaurant on TripAdvisor. Because okay. whenever people have to wait because there's no table free, there is a bucket with wine right there. And if you have to wait, you can just take a glass of complimentary wine until you have a table ready. So people stand in line here for hours because they just get free wine. Spent, Here I go guys, again. we spent too much time in Greece. <laughs> Mama, how can I resist you? Yeah, we watched the first times. 30 minutes of Mamma Mia yesterday. Yeah, evening. and now and now so Nicholas is a big fan. Oh, whoa, Mamma Mia! Can you believe Mama. I'm together with this person? How can I resist <laughs> you? Well, that was awkward. <laughs> guys, we're going to call it night. We're going to watch the second part of Mamma Mia this evening. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning, guys. We made it. We woke up at 6 a.m. Yes. Great success. Good, babe. good points for us. Okay, so we just took a shot right here. <laughs> I'm always getting a little heart attack when Nicholas is sitting at cliffs and edges like that, but. I think we'll have a good shot, right babe? You can come down now. After some beach time we came back to Klima, which is a town where we're staying at, where our hotel. So we're just like taking a little walk around again and taking... Taking some pictures yeah, as well. Yeah, because when we little just... Little snappies. <laughs> It Milos. looks much cuter now in the daylight than like in early yeah. morning. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It was a bit sad early morning. Yeah, because now, now like the sun hits the whole town, so people are swimming. Yeah, people are laughing. It's more of a vibe. People are eating octopus. So after our little strolling Klima, we decided to go for an early dinner because it's our last day here on Milos and we actually have to work a little bit tonight. Super boring, but we have to, so we decided to just come to a restaurant early. Want. You don't want to work? I don't want to work. Me neither, babe, but we have to. So we ordered the best dish in the world again, chickpeas, so good. And then some traditional cheese in the oven with peppers and tomato and tomatoes. 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 Enjoy, babe. Good morning, guys. So we're at our favorite coffee spot again. So we're going to have a little coffee because in two hours we have our ferry to another island. Um, we'll definitely be vlogging that too, I think. So yes, we're going to get some work done here. Um, we have a call this morning as well. And then we're just going to hop on the ferry and go to another island. That's still a secret. 